children congregate in schools. They spend a lot of hours in schools. This is can be where they pick up communicable diseases, but it can also be a place where we can help to control them. Here in Fiji, the Health Promoting Schools focuses on three major areas, diet and physical activity together, because there's often that linkage between them. Wash, which is water sanitation and hygiene, so looking at things like access to safe water, uh, the cleanliness, toilet facilities, and so on. And then the third area is mental health. Uh, we are finding that there's a lot of issues in the Pacific Island and elsewhere with, with young people experiencing uh, mental health challenges around uh, bullying, depression, feeling isolated and so on. So this was why it was selected as one of the three priority areas for, for the HPS in, in Fiji. The foundation of the HPS program was a baseline study conducted in 207 schools across the country looking at the school environment, teaching around the key areas of the HPS program, as well as the school's implementation of HPS policies designed to improve outcomes around WASH, diet and physical activity, and mental health and well-being. Individual assessments were also conducted on a sample of students in the HPS program schools. Students answered questions around their knowledge and also their self-reported behavior. Weight and height measurements were taken, as well as blood samples taken to assess anemia, which is an indication of the iron intake in the children's diet. Anemia is also an indication of the infestation of intestinal worms. The third physical measurement was the collection of stool samples from primary school age students to measure intestinal worm infestation or soil transmitted helminths in the school population. These are all the eggs of Ascaris uh, containing larvae. So people are infected by the ingestion of, of water or food contaminated with soil including eggs of STH. Sometimes people are also infected uh, by hookworm primarily by walking on bare fruit uh, on contaminated soil as the hookworm larvae actively can invade the uh, uh, can penetrate the skin of the person. For the first time ever, the Ministry of Education and the participating HBS schools had verifiable and accurate data to identify what problems they faced and what areas they needed to focus on. HBS field coordinators organized workshops and community outreach across the country to raise awareness of and develop strategies to tackle DPA, WASH, and MHW in the classroom and in the wider community. The child is at school from eight to three every day, and we need to teach the child through the curriculum of what are good nutrition and physical activity, and also create that supportive environment. It's, it's really the mindset teaching it through the curriculum and creating the supportive environment for the child to be able to practice uh, good hygiene and proper nutrition. It's starting from a very young age. It's involving parents, guardians, grandparents. have been really awesome because they've come to a lot of these things. And the teachers, you know, these are the big people in the life of the child. So just giving them more skills, more information. You know, I must say that this is the big um, coordinated systematic approach to addressing mental health issues in our schools in Fiji. Safe water, basic sanitation and hygiene will cut, will, will cut the, the, the migration of the whatever the disease and the germs to the to the pupils or the, to the children. And finally, we have also found out that having this done in school, they'll go back to home and then also start advocating this with the parents. You know like uh, having safe water, having proper sanitation, and th this can trigger also change in, 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 in the village and in the community. The hope and the expectation is that we'll be able to see changes at both the child level and at the school level as well.